Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents. Here we will cover the following topics. Let us begin by understanding some very important definitions as per the Insurance Regulatory Act. The first important definition is Act, which means the Insurance Act 1938 as amended from time to time. Next is Appointment Letter which means a letter of appointment issued by an insurer to any person to act as an insurance agent. Third, appellate officer, which means an officer authorized by the insurer to consider and dispose representations and appeals received from an insurance agent. Fourth, insurance agent, which means an individual appointed by an insurer for the purpose of soliciting or procuring insurance business. Fifth, authority, which means the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. Sixth, composite insurance agent, which means an insurance agent who can work for the following five companies, life, non-life, health, agricultural, and export credit guarantee. Seventh, centralized list of agents, which means a list of agents maintained by the authority which contains all details of agents appointed by all insurers. Eighth, centralized list of blacklisted agents, which means list of agents maintained by the authority whose appointment is cancelled or suspended by a designated official of insurer on grounds of violation of code of conduct and of fraud. Ninth, designated official, which means an officer authorized by the insurer to make appointment of an individual as an insurance agent. Tenth, examination body, which is an institution that conducts pre-recruitment tests for insurance agents and which is duly recognized by the authority. Eleventh, monoline insurer. For the purpose of these regulations, means insurer carrying on one particular specialized line of business, such as agriculture insurance, Export Credit Guarantee Business And last, Multi-Level Marketing Scheme, which means any scheme as defined in explanation to Section 42A of the Act. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the procedure of appointment of insurance agent by the insurer, an applicant seeking appointment as an insurance agent of an insurer needs to submit an application form 1a to the designated official of the insurer the designated official of the insurer on receipt of the application shall satisfy himself that the applicant has furnished the agency application form 1a complete in all respects has submitted the pan details along with the agency application form has passed the insurance examination as specified under Clause 6, does not suffer from any of the disqualifications mentioned in Clause 7, has the requisite knowledge to solicit and procure insurance business and is capable of providing the necessary service to the policyholders. The designated official shall exercise due diligence in verifying the agency application and ascertain that the applicant does not hold agency appointment for more than one life insurer, one general insurer, one health insurer, and one of each of the monoline insurers and is not in the centralized list of blacklisted agents. The designated official shall also verify the centralized list of agents maintained by the authority with the PAN number of the applicant. The centralized list of blacklisted agents maintained by the authority to ascertain that the applicant is not blacklisted. The designated official may process the agency application and grant appointment to the applicant as an insurance agent by issuing an appointment letter within 15 days of receipt of all documents from the applicant. The agency appointment letter issued shall lay down the terms of appointment covering all conditions governing appointment and functioning of the applicant as insurance agent and the code of conduct as mentioned in the clause 8. 
the applicant so appointed as an insurance agent shall be provided an identity card by the insurer. The designated official may refuse to grant agency appointment to any applicant if the applicant does not fulfill any of the conditions mentioned in these guidelines. The aggrieved applicant may submit a review application to the appellate officer designated by the insurer for review of the decision. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the appointment of Composite Insurance Agent and Insurance Agent Examination. An applicant seeking appointment as a Composite Insurance Agent shall make an application to the designated official of respective life, general, health insurer or monoline insurer, as the case may be, in the Composite Agency Application Form 1B. The designated official of the respective insurers shall deal with the application in the manner and procedure outlined earlier. An applicant shall pass in the insurance agency examination conducted by the examination body in the subjects of life, general or health insurance, as the case may be, as per the syllabus prescribed by the authority to be eligible for appointment as an insurance agent. The applicant who has successfully passed the insurance agency examination shall be issued a pass certificate by the examination body. Only candidates who have qualified the insurance agency examination and who hold a valid pass certificate issued by the examination body shall be eligible to be considered for appointment as agents. Disqualification to act as an insurance agent. The conditions for disqualification shall be as stipulated under Section 42.3 of the Act. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the Code of Conduct of an Insurance Agent. Every agent shall adhere to the Code of Conduct mentioned below. Identify himself and the insurer of whom he is an insurance agent. Show the agency identity card. Disseminate the requisite information in respect to insurance products offered for sale by his insurer and take into account the needs of the prospect while recommending a specific insurance plan. Where the insurance agent represents more than one insurer offering same line of products, he should dispassionately advise the policyholder on the products of all insurers whom he is representing. Disclose the sales of commission in respect of the insurance product offered for sale if asked by the prospect. Indicate the premium to be charged by the insurer for the insurance product offered for sale. Explain to the prospect the nature of information required in the proposal form by the insurer. Bring to the notice of the insurer every fact about the prospect relevant to insurance underwriting. Obtain the requisite documents at the time of filing the proposal form with the insurer. Advise every prospect to effect nomination under the policy. Inform promptly the prospect about the acceptance or rejection of the proposal by the insurer. Render necessary assistance and advice to every policyholder introduced through him on all policy servicing matters. And... Render necessary assistance to the policyholders or claimants or beneficiaries in complying with the requirements for settlement of claims by the insurer. The insurance agent should not solicit or procure insurance business without being appointed to act as such by the insurer. Induce the prospect to omit any material information in the proposal form. Induce the prospect to submit wrong information in the proposal form or documents. Resort to multi-level marketing for soliciting and procuring insurance. Behave in a discourteous manner with the prospect. Interfere with any proposal introduced by any other insurance agent. Offer different rates, advantages, terms and conditions other than those offered by his insurer. Demand or receive a share of proceeds from the beneficiary 
under an insurance contract. Force a policyholder to terminate the existing policy and to effect a new policy from him within three years from the date of such termination of the earlier policy. Or, apply for fresh agency appointment to act as an insurance agent if his agency appointment was earlier cancelled by the designated official. The other important points that an agent should observe are Every insurance agent shall, with a view to conserve the insurance business already procured through him, make every attempt to ensure remittance of the premiums by the policyholders within the stipulated time by giving notice to the policyholder orally and in writing. Any person who acts as an insurance agent in contravention of the provisions of the Insurance Act 1938 and regulations made thereunder shall be liable to a penalty which may extend to 10,000 rupees and any insurer or any person acting on behalf of an insurer who appoints any person as an insurance agent not permitted to act. The insurer shall be responsible for all acts and omissions of its agents including violation of code of conduct specified under these regulations and shall be liable to a penalty which may extend up to 1 crore rupees. Thank you. In this video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the suspension of appointment of an insurance agent. The appointment of an agent could be cancelled or suspended if he violates the provisions of the Insurance Act 1938, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority Act 1999, or rules or regulations made thereunder as amended from time to time. Attracts any of the disqualifications mentioned above. Fails to comply with the Code of Conduct stipulated in Regulation 8 and directions issued by the authority from time to time. Violates terms of appointment. Fails to furnish any information related to his or her activities as an agent as required by the insurer or the authority. Fails to comply with the directions issued by the authority. Furnishes wrong or false information or conceals or fails to disclose material facts in the application. Does not submit periodical returns as required by the insurer or authority. Does not cooperate with any inspection or inquiry conducted by the authority. Fails to resolve the complaints of the policyholders or fails to give a satisfactory reply to the authority in this behalf. Involves directly or indirectly in the embezzlement of premiums or cash collected from policyholders or prospects on behalf of insurer. Thank you. In this video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the effect of cancellation of an agency appointment and the procedure to be followed in respect of resignation or surrender of the appointment by an insurance agent. On the issue of the final order for cancellation of agency of the insurance agent, he shall cease to act as an insurance agent from the date of the final order. The insurer shall recover the appointment letter and identity card from the agent whose appointment has been cancelled within seven days of issuance of final order. The insurer shall blacklist the agent and enter the details of the agent into the blacklisted agent's database and the centralized list of agent's database maintained by the authority. In case a suspension is revoked, the details of such agent shall be removed from the list of blacklisted agents as soon as the speaking order revoking his or her suspension is issued. The insurer shall also inform other insurers with whom he or she is acting as an agent of the action taken against the insurance agent for their records and necessary action. The procedure to be followed by the agent are as follows. 1. In case an insurance agent appointed by an insurer wishes to surrender his agency with his insurer, he shall surrender his appointment letter and identity card to the designated official of the insurer. 2. 
the insurer shall issue the cessation certificate as detailed in Form 1C within a period of 15 days from the date of resignation or surrender of appointment. 3. An insurance agent who has surrendered his appointment may seek fresh appointment with other insurer. In this case, the agent has to furnish to the new insurer all the details of his previous agency and produce cessation certificate along with his agency application form. 4. The insurer will consider the agency application as outlined above after a period of 90 days from the date of the issue of the cessation certificate by the previous insurer. Thank you. In this last video of the lesson, Regulatory Aspects of Insurance Agents, we will learn about the general conditions for the appointment of agents. 1. The insurer shall frame a board-approved policy covering agency matters and file the same with the authority before 31st March every year. 2. No individual shall act as an insurance agent for more than one life insurer, one general insurer, one health insurer, and one each of monoline insurers. 3. Any individual who acts as an insurance agent in contravention of the provisions of this Act shall be liable to a penalty which may extend to 10,000 rupees. 4. Any insurer who appoints an individual as an insurance agent not permitted to act as such or transact any insurance business in India shall be liable to a penalty which may extend to 1 crore rupees. 5. No insurer shall, on or after the commencement of the Insurance Laws Act 2015, appoint any principal agent, chief agent and special agent and transact any insurance business in India through them. 6. No person shall allow or offer to allow or as an inducement to any person to take out or renew or continue an insurance policy through multi-level marketing scheme. 7. The authority should complain to the appropriate police authorities related to the entity or persons involved in the multi-level marketing schemes. 8. Every insurer and every designated official shall maintain a register showing the name and address and appointment date of every insurance agent appointed by him. 9. The records shall be maintained by the insurer as long as the insurance agent is in service and for a period of five years from the cessation of the appointment. Thank you.